If you're a creator, you probably wear a lot more hats than the average entrepreneur, but being your own bookkeeper has to be the hardest by far. I should know, it's some of what I do. I'm a business manager and I work with creators every day, helping them manage their finances. And unfortunately, I often see them make big money mistakes. Managing your money does not have to be scary. I want to talk to you about how to avoid those money mistakes that I've seen so many creators make. Remember, this show is for informational purposes only. Everyone's financial situation is different. Please seek out legal and financial professionals to make sure you've got the full picture for your business. By far, the biggest money mistake I see creators make is not having enough cash reserves. It's no secret that income for creators can be very sporadic. One month, you could be performing shows all over the world and raking in the cash. And the next, you're stuck at home because of a global pandemic. Other times, you're scoring brand deal after brand deal and you've suddenly got a big pile of money. When that happens, you might be tempted to reward yourself with material goods and validation of your success and hard work. Now, don't get me wrong. I like nice cars and fine jewelry as much as the next person, but these luxuries should only come after you've set aside at least six to nine months of both business and personal expenses. Yes, I know it seems like a lot, but remember, it could go fast during times when money is tight. So it's important to have your cash cushion to see you through the ups and downs of having a creative business. I've got a whole video on creating a savings plan, so go check that out. The link is below. And that brings me to money mistake number two, not creating a steady and consistent income. Whether it's through clients that pay you monthly or consistent brand deals, you should have at least one source of income that you can count on to help even out those ups and downs in your business revenue. Patreon, the membership platform that's also behind the production of this video, has some tips to help you get started regardless of which membership platform you're working with. First, for creators starting out, price your entry-level membership at about the cost of a cup of coffee. It's not a lot, but somewhere between $1 and $5 a month. Second, it's tempting to offer lots of different tiers and rewards, but that can confuse your audience. Keep it simple with three tiers of membership. What you charge for those really depends on what you're offering. Lastly, give some of it away. Yeah, right, Belva. You're supposed to help me avoid making money mistakes. Hear me out. Many successful creators post a few pages of new comic or a few minutes of a new podcast for free. Letting audiences get a taste of what they could be getting can do wonders for your membership. The third money mistake I see creators make is spending too much too fast. You've probably heard the saying that you've got to spend money to make money. Well, that's true, but I'm going to add a caveat. Do it wisely, it's a balancing act. Lots of creators spend way too much right out the gate. I have seen tons of creators going all out on business formations, creating umbrella companies with subsidiaries all in, all while having no revenue. You do not have to do it all at once. Now on the flip side, there are creators who don't see the benefit of spending money to improve aspects of their business. This philosophy could really stunt your business's growth. But Belva, you just told me not to spend money. <laughs> yes, I did. But sometimes that's exactly what you have to do. Spend money to help you build your creative business, to deliver higher quality content, or to reach a wider audience. That could mean new equipment, outsourcing work so you can focus on being creative, or signing up for new subscription services to communicate with your audience. You get the idea. Using your money wisely can help you achieve these goals and hopefully in turn, produce more income. The fourth common money mistake is forgetting that the government wants their share. Emerging creators may not be used to paying quarterly estimated tax payments to the IRS or to the state, but this is crucial. And I discussed this in another video, which I'll link below. The last money mistake is forgetting that you'll need to retire at some point. And to retire, you'll need a good chunk of savings. Studies show that the younger we are and the more success we have at a young age, the less likely we are to think about retirement. It's important to start saving specifically for your golden years. 
Start putting away money into an IRA. If you work nine to five or you're an employee of your own company, you may be able to contribute to a 401k as well. Remember, these funds are for your golden years, so don't touch them until then. Besides, there could be penalties if you try to remove this money before you're 59 and a half anyway. I hope these tips will help you navigate the financial side of your creative business. Of course, every business is different, so please seek financial advisors to help you fine tune your financial roadmap for your specific needs. Tell us down in the comments below which money mistakes are no longer going to happen for you. And make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more helpful financial tips and tricks. As always, go be creative with your business.